This is dark, and it has huge mass, and it's small. Mm. That's three smoking guns right there. Right. Implicating a supermassive black hole. Neil deGrasse Tyson just shook the world of astrophysics with a magnificent revelation. Our own central black hole is outweighed in mass by the colossus that inhabits the heart of the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest and most majestic neighbor. For decades, scientists have been delving into the black abysses of space, seeking to unravel the mysteries of these gravitational giants. But now, fantastic discoveries have taught us what's inside a black hole, and this revolutionizes our own laws of physics. These discoveries not only challenge our current understanding of the universe, but also reveal much about the dynamics of galaxies like our own Milky Way, and the laws that govern the cosmos. Smash the like button, turn on the bell to receive notifications, subscribe and sit tight that by the end of the video you will understand everything that has been discovered and what is really inside a black hole. But first, let's understand correctly the concept of a black hole. Black holes are relentless swallowers of matter and light. These stellar entities are so dense and have such an intense gravitational field that nothing, not even light, can escape their attractive force once it crosses the event horizon, which is the invisible boundary around a black hole. The concept of black holes was initially proposed in the 18th century but only gained theoretical robustness with Albert Einstein through his general theory of relativity in 1915. This theory revolutionized our understanding of gravity as a curvature of space-time caused by the mass and energy of an object. Einstein's equations predicted under extreme conditions the formation of a singularity, where densities become infinite. But it's not just the mystery about their workings that affects the scientific community to this day. The truth is that the formation of a black hole is one of the most fascinating and extreme spectacles of the cosmos outlining the final destiny of the most massive stars in the universe. This phenomenon not only delimits the inevitability of stellar death, but also celebrates the birth of one of the most magnificent structures in astrophysics. Initially, the core of a massive star shines fervently, supported by nuclear fusion that converts hydrogen into helium. As the nuclear fuel runs out, the star begins to fuse increasingly heavier elements in its core, a cosmic cauldron that goes from helium to carbon and eventually to iron. Iron, however, marks a point of no return as its fusion does not release enough energy to sustain the star against its own gravity. With nuclear fusion exhausted, the star's core succumbs to its own weight, triggering a dramatic gravitational collapse. This collapse is both rapid and devastating, raising density and temperature to unimaginable levels. The result is a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova, which hurls the star's outer layers into space while the core implodes. And there's more. If the remnant of this core has enough mass, typically more than three times the mass of the sun, not even the pressure of neutrons can resist gravity. The result is a continuous collapse until all the material is compressed into an infinitely dense point, the singularity surrounded by a boundary from which even light cannot escape something known as the event horizon. It is not just the name that is amazing. This phenomenon is where the black hole is born, an object of infinite density and extreme gravity that defies the laws of physics as we know them. And the question that has always remained is, what happens to the information that falls into a black hole? After its formation, the black hole can continue to grow, feeding on stellar matter and, potentially, merging with other black holes. Did you know that this process can culminate in the formation of supermassive black holes, which are believed to be the throbbing heart of galaxies, including our own Milky Way? This process, from the death of a star to the birth of a black hole, is more than a mere end. It's a transformation, a rebirth into a new form of astronomical existence, witnessing the inherent ability of the universe to recycle and reshape its matter on a cosmic scale. The magnitude of black holes not only in the mystery of their nature, physics, operation, and of course, what lies within them, but also in their critical role in cosmic dynamics. They are fundamental to the study of particle physics, quantum gravity, and galactic evolution. The detection of gravitational waves, predicted by Einstein and confirmed a century later, came mainly through the collision of black holes, providing new perspectives on these enigmatic objects. Remember when we talked about the singularity? To make it clear, 
Singularity, in an astrophysical context, refers to a point in space-time where the conventional laws of physics cease to be applicable due to extreme conditions such as infinite density and immense gravity. These points are usually associated with black holes where theoretically the mass is compressed into an infinitely small space, creating a gravity so strong that even light cannot escape. Singularities are also discussed in relation to the Big Bang, the moment that marks the origin of the universe, where conditions of infinite density and extremely high temperature allegedly existed. Well, when we study the singularity of the Big Bang, a fundamental challenge arises. According to the theory, the universe originated from an extremely hot and dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. But as we go back in time toward this initial state, the equations of general relativity, which govern the behavior of gravity, fall apart. This disintegration implies that our current understanding of physics cannot fully describe the conditions at the moment of the Big Bang solving. This problem requires a theory that combines general relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. You see, black holes contain singularities at their cores, where the gravitational attraction becomes infinitely strong and space-time is highly curved. According to general relativity, the matter and energy falling into a black hole reach its singularity and become infinitely compressed. This concept is also beyond our concepts of physics, adding to the problem here the challenge of singularities motivated scientists to seek a theory of quantum gravity which aims to unify the principles of general relativity and quantum mechanics once and for all. There is an absolutely shocking answer to this, but we will get there. There are three types of black holes. Perhaps you do not know this, but they have fundamental differences. To talk about these three types, we need to start with intermediate mass black holes. Although the exact range of masses for intermediate mass black holes is still subject to research and needs refinement, these black holes are believed to have masses ranging from thousands to tens of thousands of times the mass of the Sun, making them significantly denser than stellar black holes. The formation processes of these intermediate black holes are not yet completely understood and two main scenarios are under investigation. The first scenario suggests that they are formed by the merger of multiple stellar black holes in regions densely populated by massive stars such as globular clusters or galactic nuclei. The interaction between stars can result in binary systems that over time may merge due to gravitational interactions eventually leading to the creation of an intermediate mass black hole. The second scenario proposes that these black holes are formed through the direct collapse of massive gas clouds during the early stages of the universe. These clouds, dense with primordial matter, can collapse gravitationally quickly, forming an intermediate black hole instead of a star. This process could have been more prevalent in the early stages of galaxy formation, when gas concentrations were more abundant, explaining the current higher prevalence of stellar black holes. A notable feature of intermediate mass black holes is that they are extremely difficult to detect due to their enigmatic nature and their rarity. However, their existence has been indirectly inferred through the study of the dynamics of stars and gases close to these enigmatic objects. In addition, recent observations have provided some evidence of the existence of these black holes in galactic nuclei, suggesting that they may not be as rare as previously thought. Now supermassive black holes are even more amazing. Supermassive black holes are true giants among the members of the black hole family, with masses that oscillate between millions and billions of times the mass of the Sun. Yes, you did not hear wrong. These colossal entities dominate the central regions of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. They play a crucial role, exerting a significant gravitational influence on their galactic surroundings and profoundly impacting the evolution of galaxies. The formation of supermassive black holes is a hot topic of research and remains partially mysterious, although various theories have been proposed to explain their origins. One of the most accepted hypotheses suggests that supermassive black holes arise from smaller black holes through a process known as accretion. 
In this model, varied matter, including gas, dust and stars, accumulates around an initial black hole, forming a spinning disk called an accretion disk. The intense gravitational force of the black hole attracts material from this disk, causing it to be sucked in and gradually incorporated into the black hole over cosmic ages. This continuous accretion of matter allows the black hole to reach supermassive dimensions. Throughout the accretion process, impressive amounts of gravitational potential energy are released as matter is consumed by the black hole. This energy is responsible for powering some of the most luminous and energetic phenomena observed in the universe. Now there are also charged black holes, known in physics as Reisner Nordstrom black holes. Don't be scared by the name, they are basically cosmic phenomena that couple intense gravity to electricity and magnetism. They not only warp spacetime but also create complex electromagnetic fields around them, affecting charged particles in ways distinct from their neutral counterparts. These black holes have an event horizon, the boundary from which not even light can escape. However, the electric charge they carry significantly alters this boundary, introducing a dynamic play of gravitational attraction and electromagnetic repulsion. In extreme cases, the charge can even repel matter before it reaches the event horizon. At the heart of a charged black hole is a singularity which, as we mentioned, is where the conventional laws of physics collapse and the values of density and electric field theoretically reach infinity. This area challenges our understanding of fundamental interactions and underlines the importance of these objects in the development of a unified theory of quantum gravity. So how did we find out what's inside a hole and why did Neil deGrasse Tyson shake up the world of astronomy with his revelations? The Very Large Telescope, VLT, located at the Paranal Observatory in Chile, has four individual telescopes, each with an 8-2-meter mirror. Equipped with cutting-edge instruments such as the Near Infrared Integral Field Spectrograph and the Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer, the VLT enhances the investigation of black holes across different spectra. These tools enable detailed analyses of the dynamics and composition of black holes through high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy. Additionally, the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, is a global network of synchronized radio telescopes simulating an Earth-sized virtual telescope. This configuration allows the EHT to capture incredibly detailed images of black holes as it did in 2019 by producing the first direct image of the event horizon of the black hole in the center of the M87 galaxy, visually proving the existence of these cosmic phenomena. The VLT network also includes gravity, an interferometer that combines light from four telescopes to achieve exceptionally high angular resolution, focusing on the area near black holes. Additionally, the extremely large telescope, ELT, still under construction and with a 39-meter primary mirror, promises to revolutionize the study of black holes and other astronomical phenomena by providing extraordinarily sharp images thanks to its advanced adaptive optic systems. However, the mysteries surrounding the internal mechanism of black holes continue to intrigue scientists. Neil deGrasse Tyson a renowned astrophysicist offers fascinating perspectives on wormholes and black holes, suggesting that these could function as portals to other universes. In a viral video on YouTube in 2015, Tyson unravels the physics of these enigmatic phenomena. He delves into how wormholes, considered hypothetical structures, could theoretically connect two distant points in space-time, serving as shortcuts or bridges between various areas of the cosmos. Despite being merely speculative and based on theories, wormholes have captured the imagination of many scientists, fueling ongoing debates and studies about their possible implications and existence. Neil deGrasse Tyson discusses the idea that black holes, regions of space with extremely strong gravity, could theoretically act as portals to other universes. According to him, if a wormhole existed within a black hole, it would completely revolutionize our understanding of space, suggesting the possibility of interstellar travel and access to other galaxies. This would imply that black holes have not only immense gravitational forces, but also the ability to sustain and facilitate a wormhole. 